Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm down here at the barn and uh, I'm gonna get in here with my little baby goats, uh, Pepper. If you watched the live last week, uh, she got pulled into the boys' pen and uh, kind of got attacked. So uh, she ain't been acting right here the last few days and uh, she seems to be doing better today than she has in the last few days, but anyway, I'm gonna get in there and kind of work with them a little bit. And uh, I've got some uh, vitamin B gel. It's like a B12 gel. It's supposed to get your stomach back right when, like, when they're under stress and uh, make them get their appetite back. So uh, I'm gonna get in there and sit and kind of work with them a little bit and then try to get her to take some of this. And I've had a, a lot of good luck with this with uh, calves. So, and it's for then this particular one's for goats too. Uh, I think the one I got for calves were a little bit bigger, but uh, I'll show you how this operates when I get in there. But I'm gonna get the camera set up and uh, get in there and I've got some animal crackers. Look at these animal crackers we got. Five pounds of animal crackers. Uh, if you remember, I don't know if you remember, but I had them in a white plastic jar before and I uh, left the lid off and uh, the little doggy came down here and ate every one of them. Not Louie, but uh, Dixie the uh one that likes to eat anything going around so she come down here and I, I seen her carrying it up at the house i thought what is that and then i went up there and looked and she's got the animal crackers so anyway i'm gonna get in there i'm gonna set this camera up a little bit and uh get in there and see if i can work with them a little bit and see if i can get some of this in her and uh hopefully it'll be all right i thought about isolating her i woke up this morning one of those deals uh well i thought well i'll move her to a different pen by herself and i can doctor but uh she seems to be doing a whole lot better and one reason i can tell about goats <laughs> is their tail now you see these two right here how their tail is straight up and right here's pepper her tail is up more today than it has been right here's pepper her tail is pretty much straight up straight out so that's better than, than she has been because it's been down the last few days and uh, been kind of worried about her i mean you know how it is so anyway i'm gonna get in there and give her a little b12 and see if it'll get going get her back on the right track and uh, uh hopefully she's doing all right so i'm gonna set this camera up of course i really need to be uh working with them anyway because i mean these are my future of my milk my milking herd right here so i need to get them really used to me anyway so this is the stuff and it's uh i think it's like five cc's per hundred so if you see that little five right there and then you take this little thing you screw it down there so if you have a pre preset uh dosage on it it's like five cc's per hundred and of course she don't weigh nothing like a hundred but i think five cc is the minimum what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna get down here and try to get them going and Got a box full of uh, animal crackers. Here you go, come on. I really don't see any bad poop laying around, uh, which is good. All the poop's good, and that's one of the reasons, you know, my experience with calves, you know, I always check the poop and, uh, uh, that's how you tell, that's how I always tell that, so. I would say it's probably about the same way, so. Good girl. So she's eating a cookie, that's good. Here. This one right here, this right here is a little mischievous one. See? For a long time, she would get her dead gum head stuck in the fence every day. But she's the friendliest one, so I haven't been here working with her much, and it's my fault, see, I should have. I got one weakness, it's food. Don't you? Here. All right, so I'm gonna, she comes up here again, I'm gonna grab her. I 
wife's worried because she's smaller than the uh, other two. And, uh, she is smaller, but her mama, if you remember, was smaller. So. I should have grabbed her this minute. I know you eat. Look at that belly on this one right here. Look. This one right here's got a belly on her. Yeah, you know your daddy is. Come on. Here, Pepper. Come here. You okay? Come on. So, uh, I kind of want to check her for uh, worms. You can check her in the, check her by the, her. Now, she's clear of worms, so that's one good thing. Come on, we'll give you a little bee. I'm gonna give you something here. Give you something good. Uh -uh, hold on. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Hold on. Be easy if you had two people here. There you go. Good job. Good job. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So she took it off. That's good. Good job. Good job, baby. So, uh, here. She, uh, like I say, I just see one little bad spot of poop right over there. And, uh, the rest of it's okay. Was it good? So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, she took every bit of it, so uh, I'm gonna take this back and put it into the uh, refrigerator and uh, I'm going to uh, give her another dose. I'll probably give her another dose about uh, let's see, in a couple of days. I'll have to look and see when it says so. We'll get their food. Also got some uh, Medicaid feed. I'm just going to kind of top, uh, top dress their feed. So uh, I'm pretty happy with her worms. Those, uh, uh, she didn't, I didn't see any signs of worms and that's good. That's kind of what I was worried about. So anyway, I'm going to get that going. I'll be right back. I mean, she's not laying down. Yesterday she was laying down. I was really worried about her yesterday. So, uh, I think we're gonna be okay. So I'll check back with her later and let y'all know. Uh, come over and eat. She don't uh, usually eat with the other two. I don't know why. I wish she would. I wish I could see her eat. Of course, it might take a little bit for that stuff to take effect. And what it is, it's got a, uh, it's got B12, it's got B1, vitamin E, and uh, probiotics. Probiotics probiotics or whatever you say and it's supposed to get their digestive system back in line and the B12 is like the electrolyte so uh, it's supposed to make them want to eat I can see her still kind of chewing on it a little bit and uh, so we got to get her to eat she usually eats a lot of hay I think she eats a lot of grass too she's not a big fan of the feed so like the other ones are all right so uh, I'll keep you updated uh, don't forget the live Monday at 8 o'clock will be episode number two. Uh, if I can remember, I got a little show and tell. Uh, I'll give you an update about the goats. Uh, the other two, let's check on them real quick. The lovebirds here. See, so you turned your food over. So they seem to be doing all right. They don't really fight that much. Uh, now, I haven't really seen them, uh, you know, make a baby or anything but they, he was sniffing on it off a of heart in one day so i'm gonna wait uh probably end of this month or so and i'll, I'll set her on back i'll see if she goes back in the heat if she don't we know she's pregnant so uh i'm just scared to death that pepper's pregnant i hope not I, i'm afraid that uh what happened stressed her out it's put her in a lot of stress so that's one reason i gave her that stuff too so i hope she'll be all right her tail's perking back up, so that's a good sign. All right, don't forget to live uh, Monday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Don't forget about the giveaway. I got three items that weren't claimed, so if they're not claimed by Monday at 8 or at 
seven fifty five, then I'm gonna give them away is a coffee cup, a uh, bag, and a, and a knife. So uh, I still got everybody's name in there. So, but if you already won now, I'm not gonna put your name back in there so you can win twice. If you already won. Your stuff is either on order or on the way. So, uh, uh, so I'm gonna give three things away. So go look for that, and I might put a little reminder on the community page about that. So Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going live. Got to do the giveaway again. Uh, got a little show and tell, give you an update on the goats. Uh, oh, wait a second, I wanna, I wanna go and show you something that I just seen on the way down here that's really weird. And uh, let's go down there and look at that real quick and then uh, I'll close right down there. So I was actually got in the side by side and I pulled out of the garage and I was going down to the bar and I looked down here and I seen something white down here on this tree. I thought, what in the world's going on? This is an apple tree, look at here. I don't know if it's showing up, but this thing has got quite a few blooms on it. Here it is, what, September? And the apple tree's blooming. I don't know what that's a sign of, so. This is that old Lottie tree. I was thinking about cutting it down. Maybe it heard me talking and uh, it said, oh, wait a second, I still got some life in me. So I might cut part of it down. I need to trim it up. I need to trim all of them up. Matter of fact, I think, uh, hopefully if I get a little time, I'm gonna start picking this weekend. Uh, they look like they're about ready, so the big trees over here. Uh, if I get time, it'll probably be next week, maybe. So uh, I just thought that was interesting. I never, I don't know if I've ever seen it before in my life. I bet it's a bunch of blooms. I wish my bees would come down here and uh, get some of that nectar because uh, it makes really good honey but anyway all right so uh, don't forget about the live uh, Monday night 8 p.m. Uh, the giveaway I'll get away so I'll do that first I gotta go do the rest of my chores I appreciate everybody watching a uh, little different video but I want to show you I kind of show you kind of you know real life stuff so uh, that's why you need to keep uh, I try to spend a little time with my animals so you know if something's going wrong you know, I'm gonna act a little different. So, uh, I don't get to spend as much as I like, but one of these days I will. So anyway, uh, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, Monday night, eight o'clock, I'll see y'all there. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate all my subscribers, support your local farmer. We'll see you down here in the farm next video.